Why most Roblox devs lose motivation. There's several reasons why most Roblox devs burn out and usually quit. And these reasons are rarely talked about by other Roblox development content creators. This is the only channel that I've seen that truly goes deep into exactly what causes Roblox devs to quit and to lose all of their motivation completely. And the exact, literal, step-by-step -step solution to this. So without further ado, let's get into the exact reasons why Roblox devs lose their motivation and quit and how to fix them. Number one, the hobbyist mindset. The hobbyist mindset is essentially the idea that passion is everything and that trying to make money, trying to build games that are simple is wrong. It's just soulless cash grabbing. This is effectively what the hobbyist mindset is. There's a bit more to it, but that's the idea. The reason this mentality leads to devs losing motivation is that it sets a very high expectation. Because these devs hold shame around making simple games that work on Roblox, like simulators, steal a games, like tr other trend games that come up, they end up thinking that they have to make something different. They have to make an alternative to this, otherwise they would be a bad dev. So this pushes devs to think they need to make the next jailbreak the next Royale High, the next Bloxburg. Something extremely high quality, something very detailed, something very complex, their dream game idea. And they need to do this as their first game or one of their first games. To most devs, they think, oh yeah, this is a creative developer. They're pursuing their dreams. They're trying to make actually good passion projects, not just making more slop. So they're a good dev. You're right, on the surface, it sounds good. But in reality, what is this doing? It's setting an extremely high standard for yourself when you're a noob, when you're a new dev with zero experience. This does not work because they are simply not capable of doing it. But they'll start on this project, they'll work on it for say three weeks, and then their expectations will start to be crushed by the weight of reality because reality will show them this is gonna be incredibly difficult. This is gonna require incredible amounts of skill and time. Now at this point, most devs will quit, but the ones that continue on, most of those devs who end up finishing those games and spend years on their projects, they end up getting burnt out and quitting as well because when they drop the game, what ends up happening? Their game flops in most cases. So when you've spent all that time, when you've spent years and so many hours of hard work on a game and it flops, what ends up happening? You get angry, right? So now we see countless devs who go on X, who go on dev forum articles, who go on YouTube videos and TikToks and just scream about how all this slop, slop is taking players from real creative good games. Why? Because their game, their passion project, didn't meet player demand. So what's the alternative? Well, it is to stop with this hobbyist mindset. It is to fix the second problem. So the second issue that leads to devs losing motivation is perfectionism. It is very connected to this. It's thinking that your game needs to be perfect. This is why people think they need to make their dream game as their first game. They think they need the perfect game to make it on Roblox. They think they need RTX on graphics, an open world map, all the mechanics they can imagine, or else the game sucks. What you need to do is get rid of the perfectionism. Instead of focusing on perfection, you wanna focus on getting things done. Done is better than perfect. Make simple games first, make MVPs. An MVP is a minimum viable product. So this is where instead of making the game that's the perfect game that has all the features, all the maps, everything you can imagine thrown into it, you make a game that is just five, 10% of your original idea you make a small version of it. This usually includes the core systems, right? Like say you're making an FPS, you have the FPS system, you have a round system, and you have a way to track kills, and you have a way to upgrade your guns. That's it, don't add anything else. Don't add any other systems. But, but Smarty, that game isn't gonna be good enough. It's just too simple. Mm -mm. That's your hobbyist thinking coming in. It's trying to tell you, oh no, no, your game needs to be perfect. It's your hobbyist perfectionism in your brain trying to tell you that you need to make your game perfect before you drop it. In reality, what you need to do is just finish the game, ship something. And after you do that, after you have a game done, you become a better dev. See, 
ironically, people who focus on making their passion projects for years before making dozens and dozens of simple games are worse developers because they never learn the skills that actually matter. They never learn game design and marketing and player psychology and business. Those things are only taught truly by shipping projects. They never truly grow. Right? They might improve at scripting and building and modeling and UI design and animation, but they're improving those skills in a vacuum. Right, They're becoming good devs in studio, but outside of studio, in the big wide world, they aren't improving because they aren't learning what players want. When you drop a game and it fails, you learn a lesson. What is that? That players don't want that game. When you drop a game and it succeeds, you learn something else. You learn players do want this game. A huge reason why my videos are so good and help so many devs improve their mindset and become more successful devs and reach 1000 CCU like one of our community members or earn their first 50,000 Robux like all the comments I see all the time from you guys who have gained success after watching my videos and implementing what I say is because I have experience. It's because I have dropped games. Number three, difficulty. So development can be very difficult at times because most devs are trying to do level 10 difficulty when they are a level one dev. Most devs burn out trying to go through this challenge. The solution is to turn the difficulty knob down. I know. It's insane, right? How could you even fathom doing such a thing? It's so soulless to make simple games. Oh my God. Calm down. Calm down. Simple games are essential to your development career. You can make complex games only once you reach the skill level, funding, and the resources needed to create them. Right now, you're better off making smaller projects. And now, a lot of devs, hobbyists, will love to shame you for doing this, but this is exactly what works. They're just angry that it's what works because nobody cares about their passion projects. So what I want you to do is ignore their opinions. It's an opinion that these games are low quality. It's an opinion that these games are cash grabs. I said it, it's not a fact. Whoa, Smarty's saying, oh my God, he's saying, you need to make cash grabs. He's saying to ruin Roblox, everything is gonna end. The world is falling apart. See, these people have a meltdown the second you say to make something simple. It is insane. No wonder most devs quit. No wonder most devs lose motivation. They think it's a sin against the church of Roblox and their invisible religion. They're, literally, it's basically a religion at this point that, oh my God, we must protect the platform and only make high quality passion projects. Dude. You just started Roblox development seven days ago. Pipe down about the passion projects. It's not gonna be possible at this stage, and that is fine. Make simple games first. The fourth reason why devs lose motivation is this. There is no reward for their efforts. When you're trying to make your dream game, or when you're doing an ineffective approach to Roblox development career strategy, you will not make money. You will not get recognized. You will not get players. And despite what they say, right? They say, oh no, if you don't follow your passion, you're gonna lose motivation. You're gonna burn out. Despite what they say, it is in fact the opposite that causes you to burn out. See, most devs have passion. That isn't the problem. Real problem is most devs aren't getting results. It's very hard to burn out when you're earning $10,000 a month from your projects or from your dev content or whatever it is that you're doing, or you see 10,000 players on your analytics dashboard. It's very hard to burn out then. So problem is if you're stuck in the hobbyist mindset, you think all the effective ways to do Roblox development are wrong, well, you're gonna stay stuck. You're not gonna get anywhere because you're thinking that an ineffective approach is the right way to do things. Instead, shift your approach you follow the strategy first mindset, which doesn't just mean making games, right? It can also mean making dev content like what I'm doing here. I'm teaching other developers what I know. Selling dev assets or game templates on your own site, using something like WAP or ConvertKit to build that out and then promoting that on X. Good example of this is Bubblix. He's done this. You can see him on X. He sells game templates and earns a sizable amount of money, thousands of dollars from doing this. But if you feel shame around this, if you think that trying to make money is wrong, of course you're gonna be stuck. That doesn't mean that you're desperate for money or desperate for a result. It just means that you think about it, that you focus on it, and you have specific goals that you're aiming for. 
right? If we're just grabbing our bow and arrow and just shooting our arrows out aimlessly, there's no real point to what we're doing. We're not gonna make any progress. But if we set up some targets, right, and we do some target practice out in a field, right, we're able to actually get somewhere. We get an outcome, we hit the target. Without a target, without a goal, you aren't doing anything purposeful. You're just wandering around aimlessly in life or in Roblox development. So setting goals is crucial. And then being pragmatic is crucial because that attitude leads to you taking action. Now, if you truly wanna get rewarded for your efforts, join Scripting Secrets below. Not only will you be learning a high value skill, which is scripting, which is the number one in-studio skill you can develop, you will also get in-depth training on every Roblox development career path, every way to make money from Roblox development. And this course has helped people earn thousands of dollars from commissions, for example, or help them to develop their scripting skills that allow them to start making their first simple games. So join that below now. It's one of the best resources I have released for Roblox developers. It is getting new updates right now as we speak, especially with strategy first lessons that will give you the edge you need to dominate in modern Roblox. All right, the fifth and final reason why devs lose motivation is one that goes across every area of life. This is your health. See, a lot of devs and a lot of people in general don't get enough sleep, exercise, don't have a good diet, and don't drink enough water. If you just keep these basics in check, you will be surprised how much more motivation that you'll have on a day-to-day -day basis. It seems crazy simple, but if you're watching this, you probably have at least one area, most likely multiple, areas of your health that you are screwing up in. So it's important that you get eight hours of sleep. Don't use your phone before you go to bed. I know it's hard. I will do it sometimes as well, but don't do it. Make sure that you get plenty of exercise, go to the gym. You don't have to have a perfect workout routine, just get your ass in there. You can go three to five times a week. It will immensely help you. You would, you'll be surprised how much more energy you'll have when you're working out consistently. Even if it's something simple like cardio, as a start, it will make an impact. The third thing, drink plenty of water. Drinking water throughout the day also helps a ton with mental clarity. The fifth thing, have a good diet. You can watch videos on that, right? There's plenty of people out there who will show you how to have a good diet, but you know the basics. Don't eat junk food, or at least limit it, and then eat enough of your macros, especially if you're doing workout. Eat plenty of protein, and then also limiting carbs helps a lot with focus. Having a lot of carbs, like a lot of bread or a lot of sugar, can give you brain fog. You'll notice like if you drink a can of Coca-Cola or something, it will lower your ability to focus on a task like scripting because your body's digesting that food and it takes a lot of your energy away. Also, of course, having a good social life, taking breaks, those things help a ton as well. All right, so this is the exact video that you were missing, why you're losing motivation and development. You fix these five things, your motivation will skyrocket. I guarantee it. So click this video here to learn more about the strategy first mindset, how to dominate Roblox development in 2025. Join Scripting Secrets, of course, and I will see you next video. Peace.